Skior was looking for you earlier. Don't know. He just said he needed to talk to you before you do anything else. I don't like making him angry, but there is some work for you if you want it. A hearty hello viewers, Brad Proprietor Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with my Skyrim videos. And this one, um, if you've guessed by the intro, it's called In Pursuit of Honor. But I call it What the Farkas, because, well, when you do this mission, you are given Farkas as companion, and he's not very good. But then again, the, uh, the AI of Skyrim is not very good. It's over 10 years old, and they've gotten stuff that's probably a lot better, where you're getting killed because the guy is just not doing his job. So let's get on with proving your honor. When the Empire... Ah, there you are. I did. Your time, it seems, has come. Last week, a scholar came to us. He said he knew where we could find another fragment of Wuthrad. He seemed a fool to me, but if he's right, the honor of the Companions demands that we seek it out. This is a simple errand, but the time is right for it to be your trial. Carry yourself with honor, and you'll become a true Companion. Farkas will be your shield sibling on this venture, whelp. He'll answer any questions you have. Try not to disappoint, or to get him killed. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. So Farkas is going to be your shield companion person, and, well, like I said, the AI in this is pretty screwed up, and I'm playing this game like I would with a normal, um, unadulterated type character. Because by now I would have gone to the secret chests and unenchanted everything and done what I needed to do to get my character pretty bulked up, and this would be a very easy mission. So I'm told. Let's see if you impress. I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Willing to spend the gold, Farkas can train you in heavy armor. And I just leveled my character up to level 9. Right now he would be level 20 something if I played the way I normally play with exploits and hidden treasure chests, etc. I believe I showed where a hidden treasure chest was located. I mean, this game is pretty hard when you're not doing things that can bulk your character up and exploiting flaws in the system. We should keep moving. Ysgrimor was the hero who started the Companions. Wuthrad was his weapon. He came from the ancient homeland and killed all the elves. But not all of them, because some of them are still here. I want you to make sure you're honorable. If you are honorable and strong, then I could call you brother. A smart man came and told us about a blade piece. Skior thinks you should find it, and I'm supposed to watch you. All right then. This is going to require a little fast traveling and walking. Dustman's cairn is. Well, Farkas isn't following, but Dustman's Cairn is ooh, ah, great. right where you see that marker here. And so the easiest way to get there is to Bleakwind Basin, where the giants are, and get there. But next to Dustman's Cairn is something else, which I'll show you once I fast forward to that part. It's not a fast, far walk, but again, there's something next to Dustman's Cairn, which will help you out. So, 
Let's get going. On the way to Dustman's Cairn, I come across these other ruins and end up getting in a fight with these guys. And yeah, a dual wielder is not very easy to play. Like a magician is not easy to play at lower levels. You get killed more often than not. And there's this guy who is pissing me off and shooting at me. And where the hell is he? Where is that bandit? He's, well, maybe Farkas can help. Potion of strength, blah, blah, blah. And nothing worth taking. And where is this arrow? There he is. I blast him with my dragon spell and chop him up. And let's get going on to where we're supposed to be going. Uh, on my way to Dustman's Cairn, I get ambushed by a putty cat, and Farkas is nowhere to be around helping me. What the heck? Now I gotta use up some potions of minor healing and stuff and take down the putty tat. And by then, yeah, I'm really dying here. I mean, this is a saber toothed tiger. This should be easy to take down, and uh, yeah, where the hell is Farkas? Not doing his job. Now I gotta use restoration and heal up because just over this ridge should be a really easy peasy place where you can get some. Um, how should I say? I'm gonna get both swords going, and that's Dustman's Cairn, but right here is the Humver's Rest discovered. There's some skeletons, easy to fight. You got some nightshade you can gather up for apothecary stuff. These skeletons, they're real easy. Now, the hard part about this whole um, area is the lock you're going to have to pick once you've killed all the skeletons and you can get some really good treasure. So, let's get on with this and I'll let you see for yourself. In case anyone is new to the game, they this would be a Draugr um, Death Master or whatever it is. They level up the main villain in this as your character gets more advanced. Now, I'm gathering up Apothecary ingredients because making potions is a really good way to not only level up your... Oh, there's Farkas. Hey, glad you could stop by and... Uh, Master lock. So, if you don't have high lock picking or modified lock picking skills, bring lots of lock picks because some of these locks are going to be hard and you're going to be breaking them. You start out, my method is to start out and if I get a little play, move stuff around, start extreme one end, Work my way up until I can kind of feel like there's a clink or a click or something. Move it around. Or start on the bolts, which are kind of indicators or a little wear mark. But again, you're going to waste a lot of lock picks. You want to have at least a hundred of them, if not more, until your lock picking skills get developed or you have lock picking potions or modified armor or something. And again, this is where I would have been exploiting a lot of things and probably had my lock picking put up at 100% due to some extra special 
enchantment. But I digress. Farkas is not very good at picking locks, so you really can't count on him. The Orcish Battle Axe and the gold were probably the only things worth it. The hide boots and leather bracers are not worth carrying. Well, I'll just take them with anyway. Maybe I can sell them for something. Now we're going to get up to Dustman's Cairn here and go through the adventure. Now I'm going to fast forward through certain times because I don't want to make this video overly long. I mean, it's potentially right now really long and it takes forever to upload uh, long videos to YouTube. Looks like someone's been digging here and recently tread lightly. You've entered combat with Draugr, and this is where Farkas gets to be a pain in the ass. He gets in the way, he gets beat up real quick, and makes it impossible for me or any character to actually, how shall I say, um, not get into a physical fight. And now he's been beat down and he's got to recover. And the character is taking a beating from these Draugr. He's kind of useless. And he gets in the way. Oh, well, he took down that Draugr, so he's not too bad. But again, he gets in the way. And he can't die. That's the thing. He will recover if beaten down. But other than that, yeah. He's kind of um, just a pain in the ass so far. Now look what you got yourself into. No worries, just sit tight. I'll find the release. What was that? It's time to die, dog. We knew you'd be coming. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? Doesn't matter. He wears that armor, dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. Okay, you find out Farkas is a werewolf and the Silver Hand guys are trying to kill them. So let's just get on with the dungeon and get to the point where Farkas is useless. Well, Farkas is injured and down, and I'm forced to fight this guy myself with very little potions of healing. And yeah, one-handed dual wield against a guy wielding a double weapon, two-handed weapon. Yeah, he took me down pretty quickly. And these guys are good fighters. So now I got to start over again. 
Now what I'm going to do is cut scene this out and move on to where Farkas and I progress. Okay, I tried to do a little different strategy here. First quick save, then open the door and bring the guys out to us so Farkas can be a little more helpful. But this dude with the two-handed sword is really kicking my ass. Yeah, we're going to make it through this, but I'm going to have to level up at some point after I beat this dude. And Farkas is not helping out. He's not attacking and being as aggressive. Sometimes he just jumps right in and starts fighting, which no strategy whatsoever. And other times he kind of hangs back and lets you get beat up and doesn't help out. I mean, what the fuck is here? I started doing a lot of quick saves. Now this guy's attacking and Farkas is right in the way. And now Farkas is doing nothing except now he's wounded. Yeah, I'm going to end up dead on this real quick. And healing potions, healing potions. And Farkas is doing absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to die. This is going to suck. And good thing I'm putting in a lot of quick saves. Yep, there we go. Dead. But if I quick saved right, I didn't lose a lot of time. Again, with Farkas, save, save, save. And yeah, we didn't lose a lot of time here, I don't think. I'm just going to fast forward here. My strategy here was trying to lure these people out with shooting them with arrows or trying to fight them. Yeah, I kept dying and Farkas would charge in, get beat up, not do very well. Yeah, there's like four guys to one. Uh, let me just put you this way. Eventually, my strategy was to sucker them out, but hide and make them think that they had. There was nowhere or no one around, and they would eventually disperse down the dungeon, and we could take them down maybe one by one. I'm going to fast forward to that part, or not fast forward, but cut, because this strategy never worked to try and get them to come at me one-on-one -on -one either. So better to let them disperse. Okay, now the Silver Hands people are going to disperse down the dungeon, thinking that there really wasn't anyone except their imagination. And then I can take them down one by one. Potion of healing, got my sword, bow. Let's see. Um, well, I'm going to move forward carefully. Yeah, and I'm using iron arrows. This really sucks. 
Okay, these guys, yeah, they've dispersed further on down the dungeon. And I should be able, a quick save and then move forward. Yeah, these Silver Hand are really tough fighters. And if there's five of them, you're dead. Like I said, normally I'm playing this like I would when I first got the game. And just going with the flow, yeah, it's difficult. I mean, look at Farkas. He's doing very little. And another quick save. Quick save has helped. Otherwise, normally I'd just save it at some point. But the exploits that I used to use, like I said, I would have normally uh, had my character up to level 20-something by now. Farkas gets in the way after a couple hits. Yeah, he's kind of useless. So, again, yep, he was good there. And now we will move on. Here we go. I shoot the guy, try and lure him out, and let Farkas take him down. Now, trying to be sneaky, sneaky. Let's get back here, get the swords out, and Farkas is in the way. The other guys are coming. Let's see if we can fight them. You won't get The other guys came, and I got out of there, do some healing, and see if... up oh, there's Farkas. He's doing pretty good. Let's see if I can help him out, stun the guys, and fight them. And then Farkas is wounded, and... Oh, shoot. Now there's a lot of guys coming. Heal up here. Yeah, this is going to be my demise. And Farkas is kind of useless... Shouts are working, uh, even one-handed the guy's beating me, because he's blocking. Again, dual wielding doesn't let me do any blocking, and yep, I'm dead. What fun. Several failed attempts, I decided to go with Sneaky Sneaky here and kind of creep my way up. And hopefully, this strategy works and Farkas doesn't screw it up. The Imperial Bow and uh, snipe the dudes if I can. So let's get over to a nice perch here. Where I don't see the guys anywhere. And we'll find out if I can open that door and see what happens and go from there. see if I can lure them out and with a few arrows get a few shots in before these guys come at me 
and see how this strategy works. Fire an arrow. Someone there. Are they gonna come? Okay. I am ready for the ambush. I get a shot in at that guy. Get a few more shots. They're coming up. And get out of the way, Farkas! Yeah! Oh god, now I gotta be down here and try and shoot these guys. And Farkas comes running down and brings them down with, and yeah, this is going to not work out real well. The guy is dodging arrows. And yeah. Little puny arrows are doing nothing. This is not going to work out very well. As you could tell, Farkas is just lying there like a wounded puppy, and uh, yeah, this is not going to be a good thing. I think I got them out. I'm around. Let Farkas get at them, and I'm going to try and shoot at them with arrows and try this strategy and see what happens. Yeah, this is, this sucks. But hey, it's, Farkas is holding his own. I can get these guys with a couple of shots. And this guy's coming up. Mr. One Sword Wielder, who... Yeah, maybe this narrow strategy where only two... Wait. Oh. Final attempt here, hopefully. Well, I do know it's the final attempt because, yeah, Farkas, get out of the way here. You're just being a real pain. Ah, the guys are coming. Ah, got past Farkas. He's going to charge in. Let's see if I can shoot them. Hopefully this works out. Oh, wait, I do know it works out because I looked at the end of the video. I'm going to put you down. Not your best, huh? Yeah. There was something really satisfying about that backstab to that guy. Yes, it worked out. Now, I think we can get to the end of this and find the fragment. Um, I don't believe I had any other issues after this. Barkus is actually doing a okay job. So I'll do some fast forwards and uh, let's get to the next part of this video. So far, it's become a very boring ending, with the exception of a few skeever and spiders. Yeah, this is, I mean, no silver hand to fight? Oh, wait, a restless draugr and another guy shooting. This is, yeah, I can take these down myself. Barkus is, let's get it around, see if he can take this. Yeah, there we go. He's helping out, and I can level up. And let's see if we can get to the end of this video. Here we go. The Fragments of Wuthra and a Word Wall. 
Let's see what the word is. Word of power, fire, fire breathing. Hmm, that could be interesting. Um, might have to power that up. Some soul gems and some healing potions and the fragment of Wuthrund. And we got to return to Jorvasker. And yeah, this is not going to end easily. Up. Uh, Bunch of Draugr. This is going to be a big, kick-ass Draugr fight, folks. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward through it because, you know what? You can fight it out yourself. It's just, you... Actually, Farkas does really good as long as you stay away from him. And, yeah, he just kind of stands there. What the Farkas? My character has leveled up a few levels, and we finally are getting out of this cairn, and we can get back to Jorviskar with the wolf run fragments or whatever. And yeah, as you can see, Farkas is kind of a pain in the ass here, and mm, wasn't very good in the fight. I can tell you that right now. It just kind of disappointed me. I mean, the companions are supposed to be such good fighters. Actually, they level up with you in a sense, and the higher level your character is, the more dynamic the companions are. So let's get back to Jorviskar here, and with a quick travel to uh, uh, Whiterun. Brothers and sisters of the Circle, today we welcome a new soul into our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the Song of Triumph as our Mead Hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours, that the mountains may echo, and our enemies may tremble at the call. It shall, it shall be, be so. so. I've heard well, we may boy, actually be stronger Well, boy, you're one of us now. I trust you won't this. disappoint. After proving my honor, I have a conversation with the Companion's leader about them being werewolves. Yada, yada, yada. Um... If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you will be informed when I post more videos like this. I post four video game videos a week and you want to know when they come out. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. I thank all of my subscribers and all of the viewers, and hopefully by the end of the year, I will have 100 subscribers. Not that much to ask for. Thanks for stopping by.